Hello, my name is Chris Matthew, and I cordially introduce you to my first video tutorial. Commonly, you have seen me in my latest videos with this Artesia PA88H keyboard. However, pianos like this may present some failures, of which we are going to see in this video. The dead key problem. I can play in piano and pianissimo, even forte and fortissimo, but it still doesn't sound. Because of that, this is one of the most frequent problems that was presented in many electronic keyboards. Therefore, I'll show you how to fix it step by step. Our first step for this tutorial is to unscrew all the screws. For that, we may need some instruments. A star screwdriver, a blade screwdriver, and a container to put all the screws in one place, so we don't take the risk of losing them. Also, make sure that your screwdriver is magneticized in order to hold on all the screws easily. Of course, with a little of help. going to do is to remove its volume controller and proceed to pull up the piano's upper case. You can see all the components that are assembled inside the Artesia. So what we are going to do is to remove the F sharp key. We'll continue now pulling up this section of 12 keys, 7 white keys and 5 black keys in order to remove the desired key. This is the key strip that works the hammer action in the piano. We can watch here that the 12 buttons correspond to the 12 keys and that the key strip starts from here to there. We test them. Notice that the malfunctioned key corresponds to this button. The rest of them are okay. Afterward, we start to pull up gently the key strip from one side and we can observe that there is a little of dust in the F sharp key contact. Now we can look the difference. These are the key contacts. Each one corresponds to each button of the key strip. What I recommend for solving this kind of problems is to clean the contacts with a little of alcohol to remove any speck of dust that is traveling the key circuit. If this doesn't work, draw a non bold layer of graphite using a HB pencil. Finally, use a bent paper clip to insert each of the key strip spins into their respective holes. Remember, insert the key strip the same gently way as when you remove it. Be careful to not insert the pins very deep in the holes, causing a hole trespassing through the pin when using the paper clip.
We continue at this rhythm until it comes the time to test the fixed key. At last, we can assemble the piano properly right back as before. Don't forget about the screws you have left in the little container. They are very essential and important. After making some assembling, now we can prove that the key works. Let's test it! 